the second understanding of this uh, chap this session that is your method of variation method of variation is just a way to understand average in different way or this will give you the gateway to a statistics where we will use use this concept for data analysis or to understand the statistics based on the deviation only we will able to calculate various uh, variance deviation or a standard deviation and these three are you can say these three four terminologies are pillar of a statistics first is your mean median mode next is your variance deviation standard deviation if you know these six definition very well then you will able to understand statistics at any level because all will be just you can say next to next derivation of concept of these six this six basic concept of statistics then here just uh, for average point of view we'll try to understand because this is not a statistics chapter a statistics chapter i will take you a little bit higher either in quant or di also one of the categories there one of the type of di caselet is there that is based on the data science and statistics there also you will find a lot of application but here just we'll try to understand based on the average point of view like take one group of data that is 35 56 45 43 67 70 and 48 now you want to find the average one way is there you just make the make all sum divide by number how many numbers are there i think 3 6 7 you just divide by 7 you will get the average another way you based on the observation of data you just assume any of the number that will be feasible to feasible and most close to the probable average like here 35 56 45 43 you can just assume 50 may be average now based on the 50 you just count the deviation and based on the total deviation we will able to find the exact average like here 50 then what will happen this will become minus 15 35 minus 50 just to just to do the subtraction this number minus 50 if it is coming negative you write negative if it is coming positive you write positive because deviation will be both side you have taken 50 few data will be this side few data will be this side this side will be positive deviation this side will be negative deviation you have to count both of the deviation if just suppose equivalent deviation is zero then 50 exactly will be average but if equivalent deviation is positive then exact average will shift little bit more than 50 or if it is this side then it will reduce little bit that is simple concept then here 56 minus 6 56 minus 50 it will come plus 6 similarly you can count all the deviation now 50 plus just you write all the deviations minus 15 plus 6 minus this 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 you will get 52 will become your average means you assume 50 but exact average will be 52 but counting this deviation is easy compared to addition first thing second thing this will give you lot of idea like if you are increasing the number or you are decreasing the number like you are pulling the number just to count the deviation with respect to the average if it is negative then what will happen accordingly average will go up or go down if you are if number is constant you are replacing then whatever number is replaced be, uh, replaced with re respect to earlier number that number value is either this side of average or this side of average means concept of deviation will give you lot of logical analysis how to understand the data and how to analyze it based on that this uh, uh, concept variance is also defined that is equal to 1 by n plus 1 summation of n equal to 1 to n xi minus x what is x here this is mean or average and xi minus x will give you the deviation means all deviation we are counting but only thing we are doing we are making it a square making it a square will give you the idea this whatever you are getting deviation either negative or positive means this may be negative or positive whatever you are getting after making a square it will become positive only due to due to where we are making the a square because once you will calculate in negative positive way then you will get the conf, get the confusion exact what is the nature of the bunch of data due to we are making the square to make it positive and based on the variance this number this data this uh, variance value of variance you will get the idea how much it will vary from center average is giving the idea about the center center uh, center of the data once you got the idea about the center then variance will give you the idea how much it is spreaded your both of the side from the center to analyze further the variance another concept is defined that is called a standard deviation what is a standard deviation it is same you just take the a square root of variance that is a standard deviation just will take another one more uh, example virat kohli last 10 innings score was 87 95 this 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 if you want to count based on the deviation how to count you just assume 80 you count all deviations 
divided by this, 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 exact you will get, it is 72. Then you can say, our assumption to take 80, it was not very correct. If you would take 70, then you would got 